Let's create some gorgeous feet. Some feet for a tray, that is. For this project, we are going to be using four wooden dice from Dollar Tree, spray painted in Rust-Oleum metallic gold. We're also going to use some one inch mirrors and 64 rhinestone pieces cut to size. I started with a diagonal cut going up three stones, then six stones straight across, and then back uh, diagonally three stones. So I had 10 stones at the very top, eight in the middle, and then six in the bottom. I repeated this step 64 times and it's really easy once you get the hang of it and it actually didn't take me that long. Once you have made your cut correctly, you should have a shape like this. Then I simply adhere to the one inch self-adhesive mirror in the center of the dice. Next I mounted the rhinestone trims that we've cut earlier and put it in place where the little rounded shape is on all four sides. And we're going to repeat the same design on all four sides of the dice, but we will leave the top and the bottom plane. This is the protective film that's on the mirror. I'm just showing you what it looks like. I would recommend leaving that on until you have all four sides completed. And this is what it should look like once you are completely done. I purchased this beautiful marble and gold tray from Ross. I believe I only paid $12.99 for it. So I wanted to upcycle it a little. And now we're going to mount the beautiful legs we just made to this tray. Here I'm just kind of placing them on the corners to see what it looks like and where I want to place them. These are the two types of strong adhesive I had at home and I ended up using the fix-all. I had just enough left in there to be able to complete this project. I put a good amount of this adhesive on all four legs for a strong hold. These little felt pads were all over the tray when I purchased it, so I just decided to use them at the bottom of the feet to make sure everything stays intact and nothing would scratch. Once done, this is what the bottom looked like and I let it dry for several hours. Once the legs had a strong hold, I flipped the tray over and the weight of the tray should ensure that the adhesive is really strong. Then I decorated my tray with my favorite metallic gold and cream mugs. And here's the finished look. I'm absolutely thrilled with how this turned out. The rhinestone just sparkles when the light hits it and it is just so glamorous. But let me know what you think about this project. If you liked it, 
please give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for my other makeovers of a bedroom, bathroom, and the kitchen, of course. To all of my loyal viewers and subscribers, you are awesome. See you next time. Take care.